September 22nd, 2022. If you've seen my other videos, then you've seen the rest of me, but you deserve the best of me. To all the Freetrons, Smash Jackson, Garen Jodder, Dusty Cully, Murray Cooper, Coin Pomeroy, Tyler Friesen, Tyler Harrison, Kyle Mears, and the MTG Moxman. Thanks a lot for tuning in. It's going to be a little bit of fun here today, folks. It's been a while, and I'm really thankful to bring you folks another video today. And to those of you tuning in on The Juice, The Juice is in the house. And the house is in the juice. Today, I've got a couple of things to go over. Some shout-outs to new subscribers Shane 110 thanks for hitting that subscribe button and everybody else out there watching I know you think you know what I'm gonna say to hit that button but don't hit that thumbs up button hit the share button hit the share button and send this to one Magic the Gathering friend out there who loves Magic the Gathering as much as we do and enjoy the game and love to have fun Thanks a lot for watching. This is Brody. I got some updates and announcements for you folks. Brody went 0-3-1 in his last modern tournament. Okay, so the face-to-face -face tournament we didn't do so well in, but that's okay. We should have listened to the feedback from Dusty Cully, who has actually got another big announcement uh, coming to you folks if you probably heard already dusty collie made a pretty significant engagement in his atmosphere and we want to wish you all the best if you are watching hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment in the comment section below vince at wonderland in the grandest of prairies I want to thank you for hosting an amazing primer event the friday night before i really appreciate your play group everybody there who works at the store wonderland i'll leave a link in the video description below uh thanks for all your comments and all the shout outs from everybody who supports the channel all 112 of you amazing subscribers thanks again i got a little bit of a mail opening video and i want to just do a little bit of a recap of why i'm so excited i got some news for you folks and if you've seen the bottom 10 videos and why we're doing the bottom 10 videos sometimes things just go around and around and you you realize like hey like it's time to share this information with everybody else uh that's why we started the video but this is kind of an interesting time uh with the release of some new spoilers coming out with the warhammer of uh, the warhammer set the the amalgamation set the next uh, fusion set that Wizards is doing with Warhammer the 40k series so there's been some cards that were printed and spoiled and now this card Magosi uh, Magosi the Water Veil that's a card that I'm happy to say Brody was able to pick up a number of copies of that card in 2019 uh, even a foil copy for just a couple of bucks it's a card that is pretty situational uh, if you're playing turns, but with the spoilers, the 401, uh, the the Warhammer 40k Magic set that's coming out, that card's seen a real spike in price. So if you go back and you watch some of our other videos on the bottom 10 of the reserve lifts, the cards that no one cares about, why we cover those cards? It's the it's the Magosi conundrum all over again. These are cards that I've been watching and been looking at for a long time and even pulled the trigger on getting some of them into my collection and I want to share with you folks uh, these cards while they're easy to come by and they're cheaper to get. I think we were picking up copies of Magosi the Water Veil for anywhere between 25 cents to 39 cents and that's that's pretty great when a card like that sees some price action and if you like the mechanic if there's something about the card that just doesn't quite work the way you want it to give it time wizards will deliver so a special thank you to t freezy i got to squad up with t freezy he's an amazing magic the gathering player modern magic the gathering player as well as flesh and blood players i got to bunk up with him on the way to the tournament thanks a lot for squatting up and uh, hitting the tournament with me he did way better than i did uh he actually won some games uh brody didn't win any games 
Brody was playing Modern Turns, and we're going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek uh, at some of the cards that are in that deck and a couple other cards that were sort of speculators for Brody back in the day at the time when uh, we picked up the Magosi card. So let's get into some mail opening. All right, super fun times. Remember, folks, stay in school. Be cool. We're going to need Brody's tool. So the Magosi of the Water Veil card, I had to pull through the collection just to see did we in fact uh pick up some of the magosi cards back in the day in 2019 i think it was and yeah yeah we did yes yes we did folks uh it was right up there with this card uh save for the moment so that was another card that you know brody had his eye on at the same i bought these cards at the pretty much at the same time because of the extra turn effect now save for the moment wasn't quite i actually got foil copies which is pretty amazing the marrow took a moment for herself she never gave it back so the turns card like the magosi card giving you extra turns and then the saver card i thought these were i just kind of want to explain a little bit of the, the player's mentality and buying cards and when you see some cards that end up on mtg stocks you know in the top spikes for the for the week or for the month why do those cards end up there it's it's often because there's a spoiler on a new set that's coming out that's working with a new with an old card that has a mechanic that's under undervalued or underappreciated or or just not that good at the moment. So savor the moment. Speaking of at the moment, is a card that lets you take an extra turn, but you have to skip your untap step. So that was printed uh, in the Shadow More block. So I picked up the Magosi card because it was also a turns uh, gen turns generator. All, even though there was no other way in the game to add an Aeon counter. So at the time I thought, well, if there ever becomes a way to make an Aeon counter and move it on to the Magosi card, then this would be a really interesting card that would allow you to make turns. So that being said, with the spoilers of the Warhammer 40k set that came out, I even picked up one one foil, I think it was three bucks. Um, the, the spoilers of the Warhammer 40k set that came out, there's another card that works with Nesting Grounds. So Nesting Grounds is a land that lets you move counters from one permanent to another. And the card that it works with is this card, a card that puts two Aeon counters on itself at each and every turn. And it also mills cards into your uh, from your library into your graveyard. And it brings creatures back from the graveyard to play. It generates the Aeon counters and the ability to move that Aeon counter off of it onto the Magosi. He lets you take extra turns. So that's that's pretty great. It didn't seem very good at the time when the Save of the Moment card, when I was picking up the Save of the Moment card, but that's because Fires of Invention was not printed. So I picked up the Save. Brody had an inkling, and that's how... That's how card speculation generally works, folks. So I was really excited to bring you folks this video. Uh, I woke up and I saw that Magosi the Water Veil had a, a pretty aggressive spike to $3 the other day, and then it just kept going. I think it's at six or seven. At the event we went to, we did not get any promos. They didn't have any stock. So a special thanks to Vince, uh, Wonderland Games, because he was able to hook me up with some sleeves and some stuff that I needed on short notice. So thanks to you, buddy. <clears throat> My promo stuff came in the mail uh, a week or so later, and it's arrived here for you folks today. So I got some promos. I guess this is the pro oh, a promo lava spike. We got ourselves a lava spike. That's the promo. Foily one. Three damage to target player or planeswalker. Of course it is. Big old lava spike. And we got one <laughs> draft booster of Kamigawa. Thanks for playing, Brody. Let's open that up here on the channel. Let's see. We're looking for some cards from the Neon Dynasty. We really are. Uh, another announcement. Let's see what we got here. The Mnemonic Sphere. Ace, Kami, Bamboo Grove Archers, Network, Disruptor, Ink Rise, Infiltrator, Sky Swimmer, Koi, Follow the Lord Conda, Anchor to Reality. Okay, here we go. Uncommons, Anchor to Reality, Walking Skyscraper, Sky Bless Samurai, Hinata Dawn Crown. We're looking for Ottawara, if we can get it. 
And it's going to be the Blade Blesser. And we got one of these Alt Art Lands. So that's pretty much what we got for promos from the event. Not super, uh, not a super great turnout, but uh, that's how it goes sometimes. So looking to do a little better. I'm waiting for some stuff to come in the mail because we are going to be updating the Fire's Turns deck. So I'll give you a little look at the, this is pretty much the, the deck that I was playing, Fire's Saver and and time warp turns deck so it's a it's a lot of fun if it works but uh i think we're going to switch up the switch up the uh, strategy a little bit and uh try and throw a few more of these uh, channel lands in there the ottawara soaring city and the red one that makes the spirit uh tokens so that's pretty cool we also played a combination of narset the parter veils and days undoing to give us a wheel effect that basically mills your opponent's hand. We got the Time Warp card and this card, Collective Defiance. We love Collective Defiance. It's such a great card, Collective Defiance. So when you want to solve problems, Collective Defiance ten, tends to do it and Chandra knows that uh, all too well. Uh, this is another wheel card. It makes players discard their hands and draw and of course with our favorite Planeswalker Narset here, uh, your opponent doesn't get to draw any cards. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, warps and wheels. Warps and wheels. It didn't do so well, but uh, if you got any suggestions for Brody, uh, if you want me to just get off the deck altogether, give me a comment in the comments section below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and a little peek at Brody's modern Time Warps and Wheels deck. Uh, we might be adding a Shadow Spear and a couple other goodies to the deck, Emery and a few things. A uh, little bit of an announcement too, Brody's going to be heading to Magic MTG 30. So we're hoping to see you there, uh, Mr. Ed at Dual Brain MTG, if you're going to be there. And maybe Daniel Chang, we're going to try and meet up with him for a hello and a handshake and maybe play some 9394. Uh, if you've got any deck lists... Uh, you want us to look at in the 1993-94 format. If you if you play it, leave me a comment in the comment section below. And we're going to be also trying to play try our hand at the vintage table. That ought to be interesting. So Brody's going to MTG 30. We hope uh, this is another <laughs> and so another part of the announcement. Yeah, Brody is pretty stoked to be going to MTG 30. That's going to be happening in, later on in no, October. So look for a few more updates on that coming to you folks in the future. And again, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for watching. Hit the share button if you like this video and you want to see any other videos. Give me a thumbs up or a comment in the comments section below. And thanks to all the free Freetreons, the only ones in existence, the first free Freetreons on YouTube to ever exist that do something for someone that costs them nothing. That is what this channel is all about. It doesn't cost a cent to subscribe to the channel. The free Freetreons are the first people that were willing to subscribe to the channel and support the channel for absolutely nothing. And we thank you very much as always because you love the game of Magic the Gathering as much as I do. I love to connect with each and every one of you and spread peace, love, and happiness to the Magic the Gathering universe. You know who you are, but I'll say it again. Smash Jackson, Garen Jodder, Dusty Cully, Murray Cooper, Coin Pomeroy, Tyler Friesen, Tyler Harrison, Kyle Mears, and the MTG Moxman. Thanks a lot for watching, and we will talk to you all again real soon. And for those of you watching on the other side of the pond, Julia Morgan, Netherlands. We'll talk to you again real soon.